Good morning. Good morning, good morning. How's everyone doing this morning? It is Tuesday. Another day. New mercies, new mornings. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Thank you for a new day. How's everybody doing this morning? We have a gloomy day today up here in Connecticut. It is a little gloomy. I'm not sure what it's supposed to do. I don't really pay attention to the weather up here in Connecticut. For those of you that are local up here in New England, <laughs> our weather changes all the time, like daily. You know, the weather will say one thing the night before, and then the next day it's completely different. So it's always changing. So I hope you guys have your cup of coffee or tea with you or whatever, whatever it is that you enjoy drinking in the mornings. I'm excited about this morning. Um, God actually put in my heart to talk to you guys about <clears throat> just about complete trust and and also, you know, knowing just just having trust that he is our refuge, that he is our dwelling place in these winter months. You know in this season that we were in right now and um, this is a great time for us to just rest in him you know just to rest and trust in him and um, you know and I know that for me I can be I can tend to get a little gloomy in the winter seasons because I'm not getting outdoors more than I am during the spring or summer or fall I'm not outdoors as, as much and um, you know, so so it could get it could get a little not depressing, but just gloomy. You know, you feel kind of out of it. You know, a little off. You know, because you're because um, I'm inside. You know, as it is. You know, I work inside. <laughs> I work indoors. So whenever I have an opportunity to run an errand or to do anything, I'm out of the house because I just. I need that break. I need to just breathe the fresh air because breathing that fresh air is just so good for our for our lungs, you know, and for our good health, isn't it? And so, yeah, so I take every opportunity possible to be able to do that. And um, because I even exercise here at home. So, <laughs> so everything's here at home. <laughs> so, yeah, I do need to get out every once in a while. So. Um, so yes, and then also through the winter season right now because of these, uh, because of the pandemic and what is going on in our life right now, you know, the winter season can be pretty hard for us right now as well. And, um, you know, because we are going through a, a season of, of flus and pneumonia and COVID. And so again, the winter months can be very rough, very rough as it is, you know, so so yes, so that's what we're going to be talking about this morning. <clears throat> okay, so on that note, let me start us off with a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you for one more day that we get to spend with one another, Lord, in your presence. Yes, Jesus, in your presence. And in your word, dwelling in that place that is our refuge, our fortress, our rock. Thank you for that, Lord. Yes, make us more aware of that, Lord. Help us to be more aware of your presence. Help us to find that perfect peace in your presence, Lord, and in that dwelling place. Help us to also trust you with all our hearts, Father, in that dwelling place. Because you are our shelter, Lord. Yes, you are. Thank you, Jesus, for that. For those reminders, daily reminders, Father. And then, Lord, I ask for many blessings on everyone that is watching and anyone that will be watching, Lord. Blessings on their lives and their families, their finances and their health, Lord. Help to keep their eyes and their ears and their hearts focused on that dwelling place, Father. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus, yes. Okay, so I'm going to read a, quite a few scriptures for you. <clears throat> the first one is Proverbs 3, 5, 6, which is one of my favorite scriptures. So Proverbs 3, 5, 6, and it's from the New Living Translation from this devotional Bible. 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do and he will show you what path to take. Yes, that is so true that if we just trust in him, trust in him completely wholeheartedly and not depend on us, <laughs> our own understanding, our own, our own hearts, our own will, but to trust in his will. And then I want to read from um, Psalm 91, which, again, if you have not had an opportunity to read Psalm 91, pick up your Bible and read Psalms 91. Whenever you're feeling defeated, read Psalm 91 and just read it over and over and over again. So Psalm 91, 1 and 2. That whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High, and this is the NIV version, will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Yes, that whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in his shadow. That's so powerful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. So God's love letter to you and to me. And I actually have another scripture that I want to read to you, but I'm going to read it after. So God's love letter to you and to me, beloved daughter or son. I am faithful and trustworthy. When the pain that you experience and the problems that come are too heavy for you to carry, I will help you carry them. I want your heart to be at perfect peace in the middle of any storm, knowing that I am the captain who will not let you drown. When you're in the middle of an overwhelming circumstance, Choose to trust in me and my faithfulness. The more you learn to trust in me, the more you will realize how very present and involved that I am in your life. I have everything under control. Love, your Heavenly Father. Mm. Amen and amen to that. Our God asks us to trust Him with all of our hearts. And Psalm 62, 8 says, Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to Him, for God is our refuge. He is. And that was Psalm 62, 8. He knows how destructive fear is to our health and to our faith. And it is. When we have fear and any kind of negative thoughts, negative energy, that could be a detriment to our health. That's what causes migraines, stomach aches, and so much more, and other chronic illnesses and autoimmune diseases. He wants our hearts to be at peace so that, we, so that we can hear him whisper to us. When you surrender everything to God, surrender everything to him, you surrender fear. Yes. Yes, thank you, Jesus, for that reminder. That is so true. Thank you, Lord. In his shelter, we abide, we dwell, and we find True rest. Yes, we do. And the thought that I want to leave with you guys is what are those false shelters that you're trusting in? What are those false shelters that you trust in? And think about that. And ask the Holy Spirit to show you and to reveal it to you. Yes, Lord, reveal any false shelters that I am trusting and that I'm not trusting 100% in you, Lord. Yes, Father. 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for that blessing. I hope that was a blessing to you guys. I can't wait to see you guys again tomorrow. Woo! I spent so much time yesterday. I just have to share this with you guys. So yesterday, I was so looking forward to having some creative time with... Um, with a community that I'm in, you know, we do, we go live and we actually have some creative time. And as a matter of fact, we have playtime coming up soon. I will be putting that schedule in our private group for, for our playtime. For those of you that are members of the private group and you're welcome to join them. Any members of the private group are welcome to be a part of that. Um, my creative time with, with, with the ladies was literally organizing, going through all my journals, you know, um, taking all of my like either paintings or any kind of artwork or anything like that I'm trying to gather all of them from 2020 so that I can actually store them and unless I'm going to be putting them up you know on my wall or anything like that but um, to leave space you know it's basically to leave space for 2021 and for all the creative you know creativity that the Lord's going to give me this year so so I've been spending a lot of time kind of just reorganizing and stuff and that's also creating as well creating can also be cooking and baking it doesn't have to be you know journaling writing it doesn't necessarily have to be related to art so so anyway guys I love you I will see you again tomorrow morning I missed seeing you guys some of you live that usually join me if you were on here please say hello I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow bye